Hello, my friends. Well, I hope everyone's doing super dandy today. Because, because, because. For today's video, we have this big rack of clothes. And every single piece on this rack is handmade, handmade. Handmade by me. Every single one. Handmade from scratch, too. I did not include any of my thrift flips in this one. And when I was putting it on this rack here, I realized I have a lot because they didn't fit. I have to put some down below, and there's some over here. They're not all here. And I have never shown you guys the full wardrobe of handmade things, so today's the day. We're gonna go through every single one, one by one, and show you. Okay, let's get into the first one. First one is a purse. And I crocheted this back in November. Originally, I was going to crochet it as a gift for someone for Christmas. And then I ended up keeping it and giving it to myself for Christmas. So this is my Christmas gift that I gave myself. It's amazing. It's nice and big. I made it from a kit off Etsy. I'll have it linked down below. Next accessory I have here is this scarf. And I actually do get a lot of questions about it because I usually always have it on my Manny just sitting there in the background of all my videos. And it's just a scarf I made over Christmas break because I don't really have scarves. And it was inspired by Lynn Mick. She made all these really skinny kind of stripes. Yeah, striped scarves. And I just loved it. So I wanted to make one that was kind of inspired by her, so this is what I came up with. If you haven't seen her stuff before, it is like incredible. So I'll link her Instagram and website stuff down below. Next, I have the knitted pair of pants I have been talking about for months. It took me just over three months to make these pants, but they are finally done. I knitted my first pair of pants and they fit, thank goodness. The only thing is, I one leg's a little bit bigger than the other, not length, length is good, but the width. See, slightly bigger one of them, but when I tried them on, you can't notice, it's just because I was knitting looser on one than the other. <sighs> yeah, I didn't really think about that, you know, you gotta keep both of them the same. Next is the pair of pants, the amazing, amazing wide leg pants I made in my making a wardrobe in four day video. I love them. I haven't worn them yet just because I did make the mistake to get dark colored fabric and I just don't really wear dark colored fabric because my dog's hair gets all over them and it's just really noticeable. Like he hasn't even gone near these and there's dog hair all over them. It's just the life of the dog. This pair of pants, um, definitely not my best pair of pants. I made these probably like almost a year and a half ago, a really long time ago I want to say during, you know, the heart of the pandemic. And they're just a loungewear pants, a nice green pants. They're super, super comfy, stretchy. Didn't make them the best. One leg is a little bit longer than the other, but I just wear these around the house to lounge around in. I don't wear them in public. They're just like an average pair of pants. Next are my boxer shorts, and I love them, but I still low-key hate that I didn't put pockets in them because I've been wearing them just around the house and lounging around, and it's nice to have a pocket to kind of put your phone in and just walk around, because a lot of time I listen to my Harry Potter book on my phone, and I want to be able to walk around and listen to it. So the next one is another one from my wardrobe video where I made a wardrobe in four days and it is the skirt. This one I love and I feel like I'm going to wear it a ton this summer and spring. I'm just waiting for it to get warmer so I can wear this every day. And this one, no regrets with this one because it has pockets. Yeah. Love me some pockets. Next is a zebra pair of pants I ended up making a year ago. I ended up thrifting this fabric and there was enough that I made a pair for myself and I was also doing a video with Alexa so I ended up making her a pair so you might have seen her wear them. And they're just like a nice spandex, you know, pair of fun pants. They're super comfy, they're nice to lounge around in or wear them out. They honestly fit perfect, so I'm pretty proud of these. So we're just gonna take a quick break because today's video is sponsored by Pila. If you haven't heard of Pila, Pila is this amazing Canadian company that makes these biodegradable phone cases and they're made from 100% plants which is absolutely incredible because when you upgrade your phone, you can simply take this phone case and put it into your compost. I recently put it into my Lomi and it was just incredible that this phone case could turn into dirt. 
Another thing I love about Pila is when you receive your phone case, it comes in minimal packaging and there is no plastic whatsoever. All of Pila's cases are super soft to touch and they all have military grade drop protection. If you guys want to try out Pila and get your own biodegradable phone case, I do have a coupon for you guys. If you guys use the code Jenna at checkout, the first 50 people will get 40% off and everyone else will get 20. So in the summertime, I ended up making a swimsuit for the first time and I want to say it's like an 8 out of 10, like it's pretty good, but it is a little snug on me because the fabric didn't have as much stretch as I thought it would. So this one I have not worn. Like it's pretty sad that I have not worn this, but I'm thinking about redoing it because I do have some fabric left over just because I really do like the swimsuit. I just don't like how tight it is. So now I have a few knits, which these are more recent. So this is the one I made on this loom machine. If you guys remember, I made it from a toy, or it kind of looked like a toy to me. And this one, I've actually worn a decent amount already. I've just been layering it just because I love how the texture turned out. It's just beautiful. It's my favorite color. So this one, I definitely think was a success. success. Next. So I do have a lot of green pieces, so let's just look past that. I'm trying to work on not making so many green pieces starting like last week. So this tank I made a few weeks ago and it was a pattern by Josephine Diring and it is the pop top and oh my goodness, this is one of my favorite tops right now. Haven't got a chance to wear it just yet because it's not that warm out here in Canada. It is actually a knit and crochet top. So this is knit and then all this blue is crocheted, which. Now for one of my own designs. I made this when I was in San Diego a few weeks ago and I love it other than the smiley face is not centered. It's slightly not centered, so that has bugged me a little bit, but I'm still gonna wear it when it gets warm out. It's like a nice cotton tank. It took me 45 years to make and it's very Jenna. Be obviously because I made it and designed it, but it's very Jenna. This one actually has a matching skirt. Ta-da! The only thing is, um, it is very warm and I didn't really think that through. Like this is like a nice winter outfit, but again, it also shows a lot of skin. So not so nice winter outfit, if you know what I mean. This one is probably my most proudest piece. Does that make sense? The piece I'm most proudest of. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Just because I made this one from scratch, I actually designed it in a pattern making class I made where I took all my measurements, I made my blocks, I made it, and then I did stuff with the blocks, and then I came up with this, and then I did some sleeves where I came up with these crochet sleeves just out of my head. Like, this neck, like, the zipper. Just so many elements to this that I just came up with things in my head. So, these two. These are from patterns that I got from Kiana, my friend here on YouTube. I always mention her because I make all her patterns lately. But these are two tops I made from her cap sleeve pattern where I just altered it a little bit and made the sleeves a bit longer. And then I also went a couple sizes up so it was more relaxed fitting. But this is just from her pattern and I just made two knit tops from it just because I love just wearing basic t-shirts. So these next two, I think I made these about two years ago now and it was right when I was getting into making patterns for myself and just printing them off the internet and just getting more into sewing and also playing around with my serger. Next! So like I mentioned just a couple tops ago, I used Kiana's cap sleeve pattern, but for this one I used her long sleeve pattern and I ended up making three tops, made one Favorite color, this one, thrifted fabric, and this one, granny flower pattern. I still don't know if it's a granny or not. Next one is another one that was at the very beginning of my journey. I feel like this is probably one of the tops that got me back into really sewing and really enjoying it just because I made this top from Cool Stitches, her Eva top pattern, and this one. <laughs> I just love it. I still wear it so much to this day. It's just beautiful. It's comfy. It was a really easy pattern to make and it's one of them that just got me to fall back in love with sewing again. 
This one is a two piece. I made a video on it just in case you're curious. But I made this button up one. Ooh. Ah. And then I made matching shorts. And they have pockets. Ooh. Ah. Gosh dang it. I forgot to iron some of these pieces. So this one's a little wrinkly, but this is my jacket, which you'll see some video of me wearing it when it's not wrinkly. But this one I love. It's so comfy. I think I want to make another one in that pattern because this was made from a free pattern I got from Mood Fabrics. It's amazing. You guys should try it out. I also have a video of me making it. So back in September, October, I made this crochet wavy top that Tom Daly made and that's just what inspired me. I saw, you know, him wearing it and I was like, I need it. I need it. It is a kit from Wollna Gang. I also made a video of me making it. Unfortunately, the way I put all the pieces together, just not great. Like, look at that. So I should just take all the pieces apart and redo that just because that is the reason why I'm not really wearing it is because the construction of it, not great. This is the piece that really got me back into crochet and just liking granny squares just because when I thrifted this blanket, oh yeah, this is from a blanket where I took a thrift store blanket, I took it apart, and then I made this sweater out of it. <sighs> so for this next one, in the moment, I was really digging it and loved this one. I made a video of me making it, but it's just not that good. It's not very good. Yeah. This one is so fun. The only thing is, it's just not my color. Like, I, I've been trying to get into pinks, but the more and more I try to wear them, the more and more I realize that pink is just, like, not my color. Yeah, the color's just not doing it for me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now for my first knitted sweater ever. This was the first sweater I have ever knitted, and overall, you know, it was pretty, pretty decent. Now looking back on it, there's a lot of things that I would change and I don't really wear because the fit isn't like to my liking. But for a first timer, this was, this was great. And I'm honestly thinking I want to recreate it again for a video and just make it a hundred times better just because I really do like the idea of the blue, the stripes, the colors and everything about this, just the shape and the fit. Not good. This one is from my last video, so I'm not gonna go too much in depth with this one just because it's a wrap top. I showed you me making it the whole, the whole thing. You guys have already seen this, but we can see the difference from my most recent knit to my first knit, day and night. So for my next sweater I knitted was back, I think in November I made this one, and this was the second sweater I've ever made, so definitely a lot of improvements for this one. This one I actually wear, it's comfy, I made a nice collar, the sleeves aren't so ginormous, this is bigger, just I fixed a lot of the problems. It's still not perfect, this sweater, but big improvements from my other one. And then here is another sweater I made. I don't think this was my third one, but you can just see leaps and bounds when it came to my sweater making, and I feel like now I'm getting to the point where I can make a solid sweater that I would actually wear all the time. But this is one where I made it from a course on Domestica. It's by Laura Delgarde, and it actually comes with this pattern, this, the course, and I just love the waves on this one. This one So good. So now for some quilt jackets. So made this in my recent video, the wardrobe video. And this one is made from a vintage quilt that I thrifted. And good thing about this one is I found a quilt that was coming apart a bit. So I didn't feel too guilty cutting it up and putting it into a jacket. But I got the pattern off Etsy and I think it was by All Well, this jacket, All Well Coat. So I'll have it linked down below, but this one was so easy to make, I'd say. I want to say I made this one in like two hours or something. It was, it was great. And I wear this all the time actually. But for this coat, I actually got it from a free pattern off Mood Fabrics again. And this one is just really, whoops, really long. This one's like a full on trench coat. And this is another thrifted blanket I found and just turned it into a cozy comfy jacket. Do you guys remember when I made this one? 
prom dress in 24 hours? Yeah, still haven't worn it. Still have not worn it. Cause I don't know where I'm gonna wear this. I'm not, I'm old. I'm old, I'm not going to prom. I'm not going anywhere, just, just sitting in my closet. But I really do like this dress that I made because I thrifted this fabric. It's like this beautiful embroidered fabric. Like, look at this. It is a great dress. Here's another dress I made but never wore. This one I could actually wear to like a fancy thing, you know? I don't know what type of fancy thing I'm gonna go to, but this one probably I'd wear more than the other one. But again, just sitting in my closet, waiting for the day to come. So now I have some pieces down below. You guys can't see, except you guys can see this one because I'm holding it, but. This is my next one. It's a skirt. It's a skirt, which is the most underrated piece of clothing in the world. If you didn't know that, skirts are amazing. Probably could guess where I made it. In the wardrobe in four days. I made a wardrobe in four day video. Made that there. I also have some sparkly pants down here that I made over a year ago. So I have these blue ones. Ooh. I got a green pair. Ooh. Now for some accessories. So I'm going to show you some nice accessories and then we're just going to go downhill from there. So first one, we got a bandana. I knitted it. Cute, right? Next one, this balaclava. It's my own pattern. I made a video about it just in case you're wondering. Next one, another balaclava. This one, there's no pattern for it. I just made it on my road trip up to Whistler because it was supposed to be negative 25 when I was there. And yes, it was negative 25 when I was there. Celsius. So I needed something really warm. That's it for my successful accessories. Now I have some crochet pieces to show you guys. This is the first crochet top I've ever made. It's awful. It's awful, but it has a piece of my heart. Second piece, you know, looking a lot better. Third piece, skill not really improving. You can see I'm still going basic and just not much to it. And then fourth piece, this which I love, but I used acrylic yarn, so it feels terrible and I can't wear it. But now it is timely fine for the last piece, and this piece of what I, what I made is part of the biggest piece of my heart. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense. You guys understand, okay? I think you understand. But my favorite piece, probably my favorite piece forever, I don't think anything will ever top it, it is my wedding dress. Honestly, haven't looked at it since I got married. I made this like almost a year ago. I didn't think I was that good a year ago. Even got a train going on. Man. Yeah, this will forever be my favorite piece ever that I've made. I was so smart with how I made it. I love the detail of the top. I love the strappy back, the low back, just the flowiness of it, the train. The fabric is amazing. I thrifted this fabric. Isn't that crazy? I thrifted this fabric. Incredible. Don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the fabric, but I'm saving it for something. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at all my handmade clothes in my wardrobe. I didn't show you guys absolutely everything. There's a few purses and other things I've made, but I showed you the good stuff and some of the bad stuff. You know, I showed you a good mixture. If I showed you absolutely everything, we'd be here for 45 hours. But anyways, there will be lots of other things that I'm gonna be making, so let me down. Don't let me down. Let me know down below in the comments which item was your favorite that I've made. Mine is the wedding dress, but yours could be different. Don't worry, I won't be hurt if you don't say it's my wedding dress. But that's it, I'm gonna go. So <sighs> have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!